Once you create custom fields within QuickBooks software, you can use these fields on customized forms and as filters when running reports. Let's come in here under lists and let's come down to templates. Here we can customize an invoice. Click on templates and come in to new. This feature within QuickBooks allows us to customize the following forms invoice, credit memos, sales receipts, purchase orders, statements, and estimates. Let's customize an invoice specific for Rock Castle construction. Click OK, and this brings us into the Customize Invoice template. Let's name this invoice Company Invoice. Here we have columns for what's going to appear on the screen and what's going to print. This is our header tab. This is the information along with the titles that's going to print on this invoice. Let's add a ship to both on the screen and on the printed invoice. Let's go over to the fields tab. Here's the fields tab and here's a referral which we set up in the previous session. We'd like to see the referral on the screen. So let's select this box and this way we'll see the referral information when we're proce processing this invoice. We'd also like to see the customer's birthday in case we're invoicing them on the birthday. Maybe we wouldn't want to do that. Let's include their account number on the invoice. Next, let's come over to columns. Here are the columns that appear on the invoice and the order. We can change the order columns here. In other words, if we wanted quantity to appear before item, we'd simply change this to a 1, 2, 3, and so on. Or if we wanted to change the title, for example, if we sold in quantities of hours, for example, if we were doing consulting work, we might want this to say hours. We're going to leave it at quantity. Next, on this tab, we can include even more information. Let's look at the footer. On the footer, we have these titles and we can even include some text. How about, thanks for your business. Company information. We want to include our company name and our company address. Here, let's also include phone, fax, email, and website. This information is pulled from our company information tab. If we want to include a logo, we can easily do that here. If you have a logo in the .bmp or bitmap format, then you can easily include it here. If you don't have it in a digital format, but you have it, for example, on letterhead, you can take it to any office printing store like a Kinko's, and they will scan it in and save it on disk for you. Just tell them you want it in a BMP format, and they'll usually charge you about $10 for this. The Format tab allows us to change fonts. If we wanted our company name, for example, in bold, in the next session, we're going to talk about the Layout Designer.